This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hey there, hey there, it's Jeff Kurt and welcome you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, June the 10th, 1996, Colorado finally won their Stanley Cup. Yes, the Colorado Avalanche won the first Stanley Cup in franchise history in 1996. Now you'll be asking yourselves, why is this the big moment? Well, it's huge because not only did um, the 1996 Stanley Cup Finals give Colorado Stanley Cup, the guy who scored the winning goal was unusual of himself. Yui Krupp ended up He's one of the best German players of all time. He was actually the first German-born professional to win the Stanley Cup and the second German-born to be in an NHL All-Star game after Walt Kachuk. Yeah. So, yeah. Yuri Krupp actually... Yes, we know Yuri Krupp scored the winning goal in the 96 Stanley Cup playoffs to sink the Florida Panthers. But, did you know... The Yui crew could have, could not have been in that game. So anyway, group was a Buffalo Saber and drafted very low in the '83 NHL draft. After Cologne or Cone, as I said, won the 1986 German Championship, he was allowed to play in the NHL. So he would play for Buffalo and be part of the '91 All Star team. However, October 1991, the Sabres sent Krupp and Pierre Turgeon to the Islanders for Pat LaFontaine and Randy Wood. So basically, it was Buffalo Superstar for the Islanders. So I think LaFontaine held out or something. So anyway, Krupp would be decent for the Islanders. He would play for the Islanders that sunk the Penguins in the 1993 playoffs in the conference finals. However, in 94, the Islanders decided to trade Krupp with their first round pick in the 94 entry draft, which was which Quebec took Wade Belak from, you know, Wade Belak, you know, the guy who died from an overdose. Well, to Quebec for Ron Sutter and their own first round pick, which now is used for Brett Lindros, which was kind of a flop, if you will. Group did okay for the Nordiques, but then he they were they were relocated to Colorado. Group actually ended up playing the first Colorado Avalanche game in history and got injured. The worst part, it tore his ACL, MCL, and meniscus in his left knee. Somehow he came back and returned for the final few games of the regular season and the playoffs, which he scored 16 points in 22 playoff games, and was the hero in the 96 Stanley Cup Finals. So that was kind of weird. So anyway, the 96 Stanley Cup playoffs were huge. Had, like, so had some huge storylines. Colorado, of course, getting the team after Quebec sold it to Colorado. Marcel Abu had basically no choice because of the weak Canadian dollar and the fact that Angela wasn't really helping the small market Canadian teams. So basically, Quebec had to move to Colorado. They've been trying to get Stanley Cup, uh, 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 NHL expansion team or relocated team for years, but nothing's happened, I guess, because of the bad Canadian dollar. And also partially because Quebec City really screwed themselves over at Nordique games. All the PA announcements and all that were in French and all that. There were sometimes they did it in English, but they basically were French only philosophy. So anyway. It was up to Colorado. So Colorado took the Nordiques and moved to the Western Conference too. It's kind of weird how you have a team move from the east to the west and all that. Yeah, they switched conferences. Well, I mean, Western Canada, Western the United States. So anyway, Colorado did pretty well in their first season. They were doing decently, but then they got a piece of the puzzle that they didn't know they really needed. A good goaltender. Although Justin Tebow was decent for Quebec, alongside Stefan Fusé for, yeah, for Quebec in 94-95. Tebow wasn't really that good. And they got their answer of a goaltender situation as Patrick Wall left the Habs. After Mario Trombley put him in for left him in for nine of Detroit's eleven goals in a eleven one lumper at the forum against Montreal. I remember where I was that December second, nineteen ninety five. I was in my I was at my grandma's place. 
because her town, Brain, Ontario, had the Santa Claus parade on. So I spent the night at her house. And then a friend, and one of her friends' houses, we were watching the Leaf game. And then all of a sudden, we saw the thing about Patrick Wall storming off in a huff and all that. And saying there could be some issues. So anyway, Patty Wall aside. So basically, Montreal traded Wall to Colorado for Jocelyn Thiebaud. There were a few other pieces, but that was inconsequential. Anyhow... Colorado got the goaltend in the Indian. Patrick Waugh was sensational. And Colorado shot the Detroit Red Wings, the 62-win Detroit Red Wings, in the conference finals. Colorado, of course, had to deal with Vancouver and Chicago before the Red Wings. But anyway, yeah, it was huge. But Colorado's opponent in the 96 Stanley Cup Finals would be more unbelievable. It was the Florida Panthers. Florida had a magical year. Scott Mellonby famously slapped the rat across the dressing room floor with his stick. He scored two goals with that stick and basically said something about the rats. And then Florida fell in love with their things by throwing rats, plastic rats on the ice when the, mark, when the Panthers scored a goal. Of course, that would be a pain in the ass. Not so much more in the playoffs that basically everything was just, you know, huge. So anyway... The Panthers took care of Boston in five games in the first round. Then they took on the Philadelphia Flyers. Everyone thought that they were going to be sunk because the Flyers were the best team in the Eastern Conference that year. Although the Flyers did have a scare in the first round against the Tampa Bay Lightning making their first Stanley Cup appearance, like Florida. Like Florida, this was their fourth year. No, third year, sorry. Now this was Florida's third year in the league and they made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. So anyway, Florida, uh, the Flyers had troubles. They were down two games to one in Tampa, but they won the next three. So the, so the Flyers thought they had nothing to worry about with Florida. But unfortunately, the Panthers did score a controversial Dave Lowry overtime goal in game four, or three or four, I can't remember. But anyway, that helped the Panthers win the series in six games. <clears throat> and then you got yourself the Pittsburgh Penguins, who had Mario Lemieux back and actually playing at a, Another world level. And then you got Yager Yager. You got some pretty good goaltending and all that. Pittsburgh seemed to be the hero. And hey, Pittsburgh versus Colorado. It would be Watt versus Lemieux. That never happened in a playoff series. 93, it should have happened in the conference finals. But Pittsburgh got snatched by the Islanders. Which, you're a crew on the team. But anyway. It was a shocking seven-game loss for the Penguins in the Stanley Cup Conference Finals. So it was Panthers versus Avalanche. A lot of people thought Florida had stuff. They had the Cinderella run. Drive by Beesburg was playing at a level that basically everyone was amazed at. But Colorado wouldn't let Florida off the hook. Only giving up two goals in their two home, home games at McNichols and all that. So basically, the Panthers sucked. However, the Panthers would pick up a pair of goals on Patrick Watt. They scored two total in the first two games, but they scored two at Miami Arena. And yeah, of course, the Rats came down on the ice. But Colorado took one, three, two in that game. Then game four happened. It was safe or safe. Fabrizio versus Watt. In triple overtime, Yui Krupp scored a goal for the blue line to get the end. I will a one nothing win in the four game series sweep. Wall stopped all sixty three shots he faced. Colorado had outscored the Panthers fifteen to four in the four game series. So basically, Wall had it goals against of less than one, like it would be one. Okay, one goal per game. But remember, overtime adds on to the amount the minutes played for goals against. So basically, Wall was an idol. Ninety seven percent save percent. Ninety seven percent of save. Shots he faced were saves against the Panthers. Joe Sackick was given the Consmite Trophy because he led everyone in goals and points. Patrick Waugh and Claude Lemieux would win their third cup in 11 years. They both won the cup in 86 with the Habs. Waugh won one in 93 with the Habs, but Claude Lemieux won one in 95 with the Devils. The Avalanche were actually the third team in history to win the cup after relocating. 
the 89 Flames after moving from Atlanta in 1980, and the New Jersey Devils in 95 after they relocated in 1982 from Colorado, ironic enough. So people with their names on the cup for the Avalanche, Troy Murray at center, Joe Sackick, Mike Ricci, Peter Forsberg, and Stefan Yell. Wingers were Dave Hannon, Chris Simon, oh yeah, that bastard, Valerie Kamensky, Warren Reichel, Adam Denmarsh, yeah, he was at Avalanche, Rene Corbet, Claude Lemieux, Mike Keane, Scott Young. Defensemen were Sylvan Lefebvre, Yuri Krupp, Alexei Guzarov, Craig Mullen, and Curtis Lucision, Sanchez Ogilvy, John Clem, and Adam Foot. And the goalies were Patrick Watt, Stefan Fisay. Fisay, I believe, was traded 24 hours after winning the Stanley Cup. I don't remember. Anyway. As I said, Yui Creep was the first German born and trained player to win the Stanley Cup, and Sanchez Ogilvy was the first Latvian to do such thing. And all that. So a great time to be an Avalanche fan and all that. Some Quebec Nordique fans were not really bitter about this and basically, you know, shrugged their shoulders. Uh, they did have a little bit of a parade. And I think the Cup made its way to Quebec City a few times. So basically, at least Nordique fans could see the Stanley Cup and maybe imagine if the Nordiques had won the 96 Stanley Cup as a Quebec Nordiques. Obviously, that would not happen because Quebec would have been in the Eastern Conference. They would have probably faced Detroit, and Detroit probably would have won that cup. But there's always the big what-ups. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.